Hi team, Dr. Richard Visser here. I mean, you know, I'm tired of the supplement confusion. So today I'm giving you my top six, top six supplements that you have to take. Uh, my personal daily stack, the six supplements I actually take and recommend to my patients to boost energy, preserve muscle, support recovery, and protect the brain. No fluff, no hype. Just what works. Let's get to it. My first supplement would be protein, okay? 1.8 grams per kilogram of ideal body weight. Protein, why? So these are the two, whey or plant-based. doesn't matter as long as it's clean and complete, meaning all the amino acids are in there. Protein is the foundation of muscle, metabolism, and mitochondrial health. Most people don't get enough. And if you're over 40, your protein needs go up, not down. This is it, okay? I recommend 1.8 grams per kilogram of ideal body weight every single day. Split it across your meals, 30 to 40 grams per meal, and use protein shakes to fill in the gaps. You're gonna need 2.5 grams of leucine to get, you know, your anabolic window dialed in, okay? To get it started even. So, especially with breakfast, breakfast is super important. You wanna live long and strong, hit your protein targets, period. Second one I would recommend, creatine monohydrate. There's been numerous studies on this. It's safe, okay? So there's no question. And it's just creatine monohydrate. You don't have to go into the fancy, spancy, uh, you know, uh, other ones. This is, get the cheapest creatine monohydrate, that's good, okay? Still one of the most researched, effective, affordable uh, supplements out there. Yes, it builds muscles, but that not, that's not why we're doing it. It supports cognition, mood, ATP energy production, and even neuroprotection. Now, I take a little more, but five grams should be your minimum, okay? No load, no cycling, just daily saturation. Don't overthink it, just make it a habit. So from five to 15 grams, depending on your weight, male or female. Next one's up, super important, vitamin D, K2. 2,000 international units, minimum, plus 100 micrograms of K2. Number three is the hormone vitamin combo, D3, K2. That's what I just said. Most people are deficient, and that puts you at risk for low testosterone, poor immune regulation, bone loss, and even cardiovascular issues. Now I know, yeah, you can get it from sunlight. We don't get enough sunlight and sunlight can be damaging to your skin. So take it, okay? I take 2000 international units of vitamin D and I pair it with 100 micrograms of K2 MK7. Why K2? Because it helps direct calcium to the bones and keep it out of the arteries. Get your blood levels checked. Shoot for 40 to 60 nanograms per milliliters. Test this, as I always say, and don't guess. Fourth one is magnesium glycinate, three to 400 milligrams. This is one for the nervous system, muscle recovery, sleep quality, and over 300 essential reactions in your body. Most people are low, especially if you're stressed, training hard, or drinking coffee like a champ. So, Magnesium is important. Otherwise, your body will take it out of your bones, okay? It'll demineralize your bones. Again, I take 300 to 400 milligrams of magnesium glycinate in the evening. Avoid magnesium oxidate. That's the cheap, poorly absorbed kind that just gives you diarrhea, all right? Stick with glycinate or biglycinate. It calms the mind. It's better sleep, stronger recovery. If you also have are worried about cognitive um, decline than uh, magnesium triglycinate. But you're still gonna have to do the one I said, added to it. Omega-3 fatty acids, huge. I talk about this all the time. All right, 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams EPA uh, DHA, okay? This is, it's critical. We don't, we don't get enough of it. If you want to lower inflammation, support your heart, protect your brain, 
and lube your joints this is a must so it is a must i take about 2000 milligrams of combined epa dha ideally from fish oils krill oil or algae oil if you're plant-based check the label don't fall for a thousand milligrams of fish oil that's not the same as a thousand milligrams of epa dha look for the actual active ingredients and here consistency is key so i want you to be on this daily and finally the number six collagen peptides with vitamin c it's big this is your joint tendon skin gut support protocol the other thing that that i would recommend and there's a lot of research on it take a multivitamin take a multivitamin it covers your bases and it's shown to improve health shown to improve cognition it's shown to improve longevity back to collagen okay I take 10 milligrams of collagen peptide with 250 milligrams of vitamin C, ideally 30 to 60 minutes before training or first thing in the morning if fasted. Great for connective tissue, post-surgical recovery, and even skin elasticity as you age. These are my, actually seven, because the multivitamin snuck in there. My tops, you don't, you know, that, that's your basis. That's what you need to, you need to take. If you're overwhelmed with the supplement market, start here. These six are not trendy, they're timeless, and they're researched. They support the muscle-centric, mitochondrial protection, inflammation-fighting lifestyle that we all talk about on this show week after week. You can build from here with testing, coaching, personalization, but this is the foundation. We've already included a one-page sheet that you can get downloaded on the Visor Stack PDF and go to veradoctors.com and uh, hit the link on the show notes to get more of this. So this is, this is smart. Recover better, live longer, okay? And we need these vitamins. I don't care what anyone says, what your physician says, this is need. You don't get it in your food. You don't get it from the sun. You need it. Test it if you, if, if you want to. Uh, and, and well, actually, I suggest it. So that's it. Quick and dirty. That's what you need. Okay. See you next time where we're going to be talking about specifically cognitive decline. I know we're, I get a lot of comments on this. People are very concerned about this. So we're going to talk about it. What are the things you need to do for cognitive decline specifically? Thank you. See you next time.